How is everybody doing today? This is Andrew from MyWatchAddiction.com. Uh, today we're going to bring you a, another review of a watch that I recently got in. But before I do that, I just want to highlight something real quick. As you may notice, you now see me in more than just my arm looking at a blue sheet as a background. Uh, we've decided to step it up a notch here, or I should say I've decided to step it up a notch here, and actually try and make these look somewhat decent instead of me just uh, using a 10 year old video camera uh, that I paid $200 for at Walmart. So, nice to meet you. Again, I'm Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and uh, the whole purpose of my channel is just kind of highlighting my, uh, my adventure through, through watches. Um, started out not knowing anything about watches to nothing at all. Uh, and as I as I pick this up as a hobby, I learn more. And through these videos, anything I learn, I try to share with you guys. There's gonna be times that I'm wrong. There's gonna be times where I say things that uh, don't make sense, and I'll try and figure it out and learn as I go and correct myself uh, when I do that. But uh, again. Uh, a little bit different than past videos, so we'll get started here and see how we can uh, see how we can do with this. Today we are going to take a look at an original grain watch that I received as a part of the mystery box auction that I took place in. Uh, it's the same mystery box auction that I received the Titanium Citizen Eco Drive uh, that you saw me review in the last video. Uh, if you haven't checked that out. I'll post up a link in the bottom so you can go check it out. Um, so this watch is what they call their barrel edition. This is a Whiskey Espresso. So before I kind of get into explaining what that means, um, we'll just take a look at this guy real quick. All of the original grain watches actually come in a really nice wood box. I'm not even going to try and say it's handmade or anything like that because honestly I don't know. Um, but it is uh, kind of engraved on the top with their logo, um, established 2013. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on Original Grain other than uh, to know that some of their watches I like, some I don't. Um, it's just a personal preference, it's nothing against the watch. Um, I, I, truly think it's an undervalued watch, an underrated watch. Um, a lot of people look past it uh, from what I've seen. But um, this watch itself, I was kind of surprised when I got it because I never really got, or never really came across a uh, rose gold and wood watch before. Um, it's definitely something different, something that I have not seen before. Like I mentioned, this is, their whiskey barrel edition. So basically the wood that's on this watch is all wood that's reclaimed from old whiskey barrels. Um, some guys that drink whiskey, you know, they, they really like the novelty behind that. Um, me, it doesn't really matter um, one way or another. This is, they call it an espresso color. Um, to me, it looks more like a bronze or a rose gold. It's a nice watch. Uh, personally, I'm not necessarily sure if myself I would have bought it um, outright, only because I'm not a fan of rose gold. I'm not a fan of gold in general. Most of you guys have seen that or heard me say that over and over and over again already. Um, one of the things that we started doing in the last video uh, that I'll continue on in this one here in a couple of minutes is I want to go through and size these watches for you guys. Um, each watch sizes very similarly. There's little tips and tricks on each of them. Um, some of them I don't know, so I kind of have to learn as I go and you guys will get to see that. This watch itself though is, and yes I'm going to look it up because I don't know this stuff off the top of my head. Um, the model number on this watch is an OG-10-003, and the actual name of it is Original Grain Men's Whiskey Barrel Wood. Uh, brushed Espresso is uh, the way they refer to it as. 
Now this watch, and I'll actually pull out my handy dandy digital multimeter here. This watch, according to the website, uh, is 47 millimeters at the dial. Um, in measuring it, if I can measure it there, I am looking at about 47 millimeters dial to dial. Now, mind you, that does not include the crown. With the crown, you're looking at approximately 48 and a half millimeters um, at the crown. But good size watch. They do sell this watch, this specific model. They sell this in a 42 millimeter also. Um, so if, if you're looking for a smaller dial, smaller case, um, you know, that's definitely something to, to take a look at. This watch in particular does use a Japanese, um, a Japanese quartz movement. I'm not sure what movement they use in these. I don't take them apart to take a look and I don't know enough about movements yet uh, to be able to comment one way or another. If it's good, if it's not good, uh, I can't tell you. Um, this is 316L stainless steel case. Um, with the with the I'll call it a bronze type finish on it. The case thickness um, the thickness on this case is actually 47 millimeters. Um, I'm sorry, wrong there. That's the diameter. The thickness of this case is 12 millimeters. So it's a decent size thickness. It's not overly huge. Um, it's something that would fit under a dress shirt. Um, the, the cuff of the dress shirt. Obviously, I'm not wearing one today, but in my everyday life, I'm typically wearing a dress shirt, and that's something I look for in, in watches that I'm gonna wear to work. Does have a four millimeter wood inlay around the dial. Just like my other videos, I will post up some pictures, um, close-up pictures during the video, or at the end of the video, in this case, probably. Um, one last thing to point out before I size this watch, this is mineral glass uh, or mineral crystal on this, so it's not going to be as scratch resistant as sapphire, um, but it is definitely something that uh, should hold up through normal wear and tear. While we're doing that, I am going to go ahead and get out my very inexpensive watch toolkit. If anybody hasn't seen these, they're like 12 bucks on Amazon, something like that. This guy is handy as all get out as it comes to, or as it relates to actually sizing the watch. Um, there's a number of different ways you can do it. I am just going to uh, go ahead and do it the way I know how. And in the event that anybody knows a different way that I haven't highlighted here, by all means, post up in the comments, tell me. Um, I'm always eager to learn more. Now with a lot of the watches, it's very important that you pay attention to the engraving on the inside of the band. There's typically an arrow that shows you which direction um, you want to push the pin. In this instance, we are going to push in the direction that the arrow tells us to, to actually take out the link. So you want to be very, very careful when you're uh, doing this because it's very easy to scratch up the sides of the links. Let's see if we can get it here. Now you probably can hear the, me scratching the hell out of this band, which it's not horrible, but you're going you're gonna to go ahead and apply some pressure to this. And eventually what will happen is if you have everything lined up right, you'll hear that snap just like that and the pin will actually pop out. Now the pin pops out part way. Um, I hope you guys can see that right there. And forgive me because my phone is still on. I'll turn that off so you guys don't have to listen to that. You just simply pull the pin out and then it allows you to separate the band um, and remove a link in this case. Now, I'm going to tell you guys ahead of time, I cheated and already checked this watch. When I received this watch, it already fit me perfectly, so I did not need to go through and um, actually take out any links, but I wanted to take it apart to show you guys how easy it is. Now, one of the 
things to pay attention to when you put your pin back in, back into the watch, make sure you're going against the way in the opposite direction of the arrow and make sure that the thick end of the pin is in the appropriate direction. Now, for me, usually what I do is I take my hammer and use the plastic end of the hammer and then just give it a few taps. If that doesn't work, if I'm not feeling like I'm getting it lined up very well, the nice thing about these cheap little pin pushers is you can toss your band right in there just like that. for making so much noise guys go ahead and just go ahead and push that pin back in now all in all um, like I mentioned this is not a watch that I would purchase for myself but it is a watch that is comfortable to wear I could see myself uh, wearing this I don't even know what color shirt I'd wear with. I can't match to save my life, so a lot of times you'll see me in black and grays because it's easiest for me. But very comfortable to wear. Um, decent looking watch. I, I don't have any complaints whatsoever, especially the way I came about getting it. Now, one of the things that I want to do for you guys um, that we'll see if we can figure out how to do real quick for you here is I want to just take a look and see what these are going for online. So we're going to pull up uh, the website real quick. I'm going to go over here first. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, this is mywatchaddiction.com, the homepage. Definitely check it out uh, when you guys have time. One of the things that uh, you'll notice is I add these videos uh, to the page as well as additional information that I find out. The other thing I do that I've started doing recently on the page is adding backed Kickstarter campaigns. Kickstarter campaigns, watches that uh, I actually invest in to uh, acquire through their crowdfunding. Um, so it's something I'm looking forward to. So this, like I mentioned, is a whiskey barrel original grain. Now, there's a few different places you can take a look at purchasing one. Very easiest thing to do first though is just type the model number into Google. Uh, I'm sure you guys know all these tricks already, so I'm, I'm doubt I'm telling you anything you don't know. But in the event that you don't, um, you know, I throw this video up here for you. If we go to Original Grains website, you see all sorts of different stuff, but this guy is right on the front page. Um, the Whiskey Barrel 47 millimeter edition, they list it for $219. The nice thing about uh, Original Grain and some of the other watches I've reviewed recently, um, or I should say are, are going to review recently, uh, they do not overly mark up their watches from an MSRP standpoint. So it's definitely, what they list a price for is typically what it sells for. On eBay, we can take a look real quick here and see if this guy's available on eBay. Here's one for $199. Here's a, a original grain gift box, uh, which I believe it comes with a few different things other than just the watch. $677 for this watch. I, for this guy's sake, truly hope that he can sell it for that. I highly doubt he will be able to. But $677 is a lot of money for this watch. Um, I don't understand people on eBay sometimes, but hey, somebody's got to be paying that because otherwise, why waste your time putting it up there? Anyway, uh, thank you very much for taking a look at uh, these watches with us, this watch with us. Welcome to the new format of this uh, channel. And if you have any comments, suggestions, I told you I'm a novice at this stuff. I'm learning as I go. You might see the format of these videos change. You might see um, the order in which I do things change. But one thing will remain constant is every time you see me, we will have a new watch. 
and that's just the way it goes. It's part of the addiction, continues, 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 continues. And eventually, we'll see where it goes. But uh, to start out with, I enjoy taking a look at these watches with you guys. Thank you for your comments, um, and definitely, if you have any questions, reach out. Again, the website is mywatchaddiction.com. Uh, we are on Facebook at mywatchaddiction. Instagram is at my, I'm sorry, at watchaddiction.us. So check us out, follow us, like our page, and uh, we will see you guys soon. Thanks.